Now, 10 weeks after inconclusive elections, Spain's Pedro Sanchez has announced that his socialist party has struck a deal with the liberal Ciudadanos party over a coalition government. Spain has been in political limbo since December's poll left a hung parliament split among four main parties, none of which has enough seats to govern alone. I asked our correspondent in Madrid, Sarah Morris, if this is enough now for a parliamentary majority. The socialists have 90 seats, Ciudadanos has 40 seats, and for an absolute majority, they need 176. Even for a normal majority, it's very difficult because the People's Party that wants to cling on to power has 162 seats in that parliament, and the People's Party is hoping uh, that Pedro Sanchez's bid to become the next prime minister will fail, and Mariano Rajoy, the current acting prime minister, will return to the battle and himself get voted in. Uh, so it's not an absolute majority. What Pedro Sanchez is hoping is that he can muster extra support, either for some of the parties to vote with him uh, to make him prime minister, or for them to at least abstain and not vote against him. He's got his work cut out and the clock is ticking because the first a vote, the, his speech to the parliament uh, where he'll lay out his programme will be on the 1st of March. That's next Tuesday. And Sarah, what is it that the Socialists and the uh, Ciudadanos party have managed to agree on exactly? Well, the first thing that they've said is there would be a, a reform to the Constitution. They want to scrap parliamentary uh, privilege, which stops at the moment from uh, um, MPs that are corrupt from being properly investigated, swiftly investigated. Uh, those uh, privileges would go under this uh, deal. Uh, another part of the deal would that it, the income tax would not go up. That is very important for Ciudadanos, a Liberal Party. Uh, other measures include getting rid of layers of local authorities, which would uh, save money, and that's another important measure for Ciudadanos. All of the, these measures uh, look as if they're designed to attract people like Podemos, which is also strong on anti-corruption, but even to persuade the People's Party to abstain and let them govern, uh, because these measures are designed to be as popular as, po as possible. Uh, the uh, Spaniards want a lot to, to be done on corruption. And if Pedro Sanchez can shame some of the other parties, he might uh, persuade them to at least abstain to avoid a fresh election. If that happens, that would be June the 26th. Sarah Morris reporting from Madrid.